Well, let's look at an earlier problem that we did, but let's approach it using the henderson hasselbalch equation. We looked at one mole of acetic acid, a weak acid, and one mole of sodium acetate, a salt that contains the conjugate base, and we added it to a liter of solution. And earlier, when we did this, we found that the pH was 4.74. We did that because we said the concentration of H plus was going to equal the Ka value, which for this substance was 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, or that pH equals pKa. If we look at the henderson hasselbalch equation, in this equilibrium, we have acetic acid dissociating into H plus and the acetate ion. This right here is our weak acid. This is the HA in the henderson hasselbalch equation. And this right here is your acetate, which is a conjugate base. So this is the A minus in the henderson hasselbalch equation. In the problem we did before, the weak acid had a concentration of one molar, and the conjugate base had a concentration of one molar. So when we plug it into the equation, I do one over one, which equals one, and I have to take the log of one. Well, the log of one is simply zero. So you can cancel out that whole statement, and you just get pH equals pKa, which we found already. But now, let's take this, and let's add a substance to the buffer. Now buffers can resist changes in pH, so if we add an acid or a base, it doesn't really matter. We're going to resist a change of pH. So let's add a base this time. Let's add 0 0.05 moles of NaOH. There's a strong base right there. So by adding a base, we would expect the pH to go up. But because the solution is buffered, we don't expect it to go up very much. So let's take a look what happens. Let's go to my ice chart here. So initial change and in equilibrium. Initially, just like before, I had one molar acetic acid, no hydrogen ion to speak of, and one molar acetate ion. If we're adding a base, we have to figure out which of my substance in here is going to react with the base. So is the acid going to react with the base, or is the base going to react with the base? So hopefully we see that the base is going to react with the acid, which means that we are going to consume some of my acid. We're going to see that we will consume 0.05 moles for every liter of my acid, which means if we're at equilibrium, I'm going to be left with 0.95 molar of my weak acid. Well, if I consume this, then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to increase this. Because if I take away some of the acid, I turn it into the conjugate base. Which means if I decrease my acid by 0.05, I must increase my conjugate base by 0.05. So I'm going to have 1.05 molar acetate. Now for the henderson hasselbalch equation, it doesn't worry about the concentration of H+. Plus. It finds it at the end, so I'm not really worrying about that in the ice chart now. But what I can do now is I can plug these terms into my henderson hasselbalch equation, where I can say my pH equals pKa, so that's the negative log of my Ka value, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, plus the log of my conjugate base, which we now know to be 1.05 all over 0 0.95. 
So that means my pH is going to equal the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. We've already done that. That's 4.74. So that's going to be 4.74 plus 0 0.043. And when you add these together, you end up getting 4.78 as a pH. So yes, my pH went up a little bit, but not nearly as much as we would expect by adding a strong base.